Hey, what's going on everyone out there in YouTube land? Today we're checking out a very unique disposable coming from a company that we have not seen in a while on the channel, coming from Digiflavor. And today we're checking out the new Digiflavor BRK or Digiflavor Brick. It's probably the BRK. Uh, this one is powered by Geekbar. And one thing to mention is that Digiflavor will be at the EDC Orlando Music Festival uh, November 8th through the 10th. So if you're in the area, want to hear some good music, check out the BRK or check out Digiflavor. Now this is a two-piece disposable, but we're going to crack them open, check them out, see how they work together. And yeah, so with that said, let's crack it open. Now this one right here, I believe is going to be the pod. Now there's a little tab to actually open up the box a little bit easier. There we go. Inside the pod box, you're going to get the pod system, which is a disposable. Make sure you remove the screen protector, the silicone plug here at the top, and the contact sticker along the side. They will also include a flavor card so you can check out all eight flavors. And this is pretty much your disposable. You can vape it, you can do whatever. Now, if you wanna get the extra add-on, which is gonna be, we're gonna call this the power pack or the battery pack, however you wanna call it. This is not a disposable. This is pretty much an add-on accessory for the pod itself. And as you can see, it looks almost the same, about the same size. We'll go over the numbers in a moment. Remove the little screen protector. And then the way this works is you can either vape it just like this, nice, small, and stealthy. But if you want some extra battery life, all you're gonna do is take the battery pack, magnetize it together. And now you got yourself a full-size device with a screen and a couple options on here. Dimensions on the pod itself, 91 millimeters tall by 29 by 26, and dimensions on the battery pack, 77 by 23 by 26. And when you connect them together, you're looking at about 53 millimeters wide. Now they're available in eight different flavors. They got eight different colors to choose from depending on the flavor you get. And they are using a 50 milligram Nick salt on the inside. At the top, we got a chiclet style mouthpiece, nice and comfortable to vape on. This is gonna be more of an MTL device. It doesn't have any adjustable airflow controls, sliders, or switches at the bottom. So the airflow is gonna be set, I'm gonna say probably a little bit of a loose mouth to lung vape in my opinion. Now the pod does hold 12 mLs of liquid and you'll get about 20,000 puffs when running it in the lowest mode. This does have two different power modes, so that's going to be a max of 20,000 puffs before you toss this into the trash. It does have auto draw, so you simply just put it up to your lips and start vaping. The pod itself has no buttons, no charge port, no screen, actually nothing. Like, it's really bare bones and simple. It's when you connect it to the battery pack is when you get the display, the charge port, and everything else. Now, even though it does have a button, that button is gonna change between the two different modes. That's not gonna be a firing switch, but it will allow you to turn on and off the battery pack or the screen. And you do that by simply just pressing the button five times, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see now it turns off. Now the pod is using a dual mesh coil on the inside. Flavor is extremely good on this. And when you bring the battery pack into the picture, it does use a 3D curved screen that wraps around the entire device, which is pretty cool. Now you'll notice the little lines right here. So when you connect this, you kind of just want to connect the dotted line with the straight line. If you go like this, you obviously are doing it incorrectly. So it's pretty easy. The magnets are nice and strong. So once it's powered on with the five clicks, you're going to have a puff timer here in the center. You're going to have a battery indicator here at the bottom. And then you got your juice indicator here at the top, giving you an estimate about how much liquid is left inside the device. And then when you vape on it, you're going to get an animation all across the screen. And you also have a battery indicator for the battery pack itself. Now, another cool feature is it has this adaptive color UI. So the colors shift depending on the flavor pod you connect. So if I could see this correctly, because I'm kind of colorblind, you can see that we have a purple color going on here. Now, if I swap that out for the red one, you'll see now the color is going to change to red and the animation is going to change color too. So Depending, once again, on the flavor and the color you connect depends on the color that you get on the screen. Now, it does have two power modes, 
And to switch between the power modes, all you're going to do is simply just press that button one time and that will change between the power modes. We'll talk about the power modes when we jump up top and you can see the color does change as you change between the power modes. And then if you want to shut it down, shut the battery pack down, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five on the switch, but you could still vape the device. There just won't be any animation or anything like that. And you're going to use the battery that's on the pod right here. And just to get a better look at the screen when the lights are turned off, you can see it actually is pretty bright, pretty colorful. My bright studio lights kind of wash it out. Now the pod has a 200 milliamp hour battery, holds the liquid, the coils, and obviously, once again, for the third time, you could vape off this directly. The battery pack introduces a 1,000 milliamp hour battery and also gives you the screen and then the ability to change between two different modes and also the ability to charge it. So if you don't have the battery pack, technically, there's no way to charge this. So you kind of need to have the battery pack for this to eventually charge and yeah, that's pretty much it for the BRK. So the digit flavor, BRK or Brick? Should we call it the Brick? We'll call it the BRK. Awesome device, awesome concept where you got these two separate pieces right here. You got your pod, your battery, your liquid, everything in this little tiny stealthy device. Um, no features to it. You just take it, vape it, simple. And then when you want to get into the screen, the different modes, the extra battery life, the charge port, that's where the battery pack comes into play. Now, I forgot to show you guys on the down low, the USB-C charge port is only on the battery pack. It is not on the pod itself. So even though you can use this by itself, you are going to need a battery pack so that way it charges the pod. So the pod charges through the battery pack and then to charge the battery pack, you plug your USB-C cable into the battery pack. So you have to have a battery pack for this to work. You could have 10 of these and just one battery pack and it's you could still interchange them, but you gotta have at least one battery pack so that way you could charge up all the little pod modules um, once the battery gets low. And the magnets on here are extremely tight so this thing's not going to fall off on you. You don't have to worry about losing it. And then just simply disconnect, grab another one. Real simple. You can also charge this separately. If you just want to sit this on the sideline, plug it in, charge it up. What's nice is that it has the battery indicator and juice indicator for the connected pod. And then on the front right here, it has its own battery indicator for the actual battery pack itself. So that way, if you're charging it by itself or just charging it together, it's going to let you know, you know how much battery life you have left on the pack itself. Now, more importantly, what does it vape like? Because all these features mean nothing if it vapes like crap. So we got two flavors we're going to check out. First one up is cherry straws, which is the one I've been using, and it's a really delicious cherry strawberry. We're going to do melts along on this. Let's have a vape. Let's disconnect real quick. Nice, sweet, tart cherry, a little bit of strawberry, very little cooling effect. And what's nice is the eight different flavors they have, each flavor has a different cooling effect. So if you look at the little flavor card, it'll tell you which flavors have more cooling effect than others because some people like the coolness, some don't. Next one we're going to do is the strawberry bee pop and connect them. Let's have a vape. Now, when I've seen straw bee pop, strawberry bee pop, I thought strawberry blow pop, but I'm getting more of like a strawberry cupcake or maybe like a strawberry pastry or strawberry bakery. Extremely good, nice, smooth, sweet strawberry with a little, in my opinion, a little bit of a bakery or pastry on the exhale. I wouldn't necessarily go with strawberry blow pop. And once again, if you get bored of the flavor, all you got to do is just grab the other module, pop it in. So you can have all eight flavors and just one battery pack and just keep swapping them in and out and yeah that's pretty much it it's nice to see digi flavor back i'm not sure if they left anywhere but i haven't seen them in quite a while so congrats to them for coming out with such an awesome device and that's pretty much going to be it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one make sure you guys build safe and as always vape on